Two new shots. Whoa. Oh, is that a spring? It was in the front. Ah, oh, no, casualty. Hopefully I can pop it in easy. I think it's an easy fix. It looks like it just popped out. Nope, it was not an easy fix. I lost the chunk. See this piece of metal that connects here? You can see on this side that the, it's been knocked out. I'm gonna have to replace that. Well, that didn't last too long before it broke. Wow, let's take a look at that damage again, guys. Check that out. Look at that. Ooh, that hurt. Well, it's an inexpensive vehicle, guys. These shocks, they're very cheap, they're plastic, so it wasn't that much of a surprise to me that they broke. But uh, today's episode, we're gonna do something about it. And I've got the right shirt on today to celebrate the occasion. So today we're going to race them, break them, fix them, and repeat. Well, hopefully not the repeat part. I'd really rather not, but let's do the other stuff today. I got the right parts. I just went and awarded some new metal shocks for this bad boy, and we're gonna put them on today, and then we'll race it again and see how we do. Let's go. All right, guys, back in the shop here. So I ordered these. These are some metal shocks that I found on Amazon. I will put a link in the description in case you guys own this car and you need these for yourself. I got these in green to match the car. I know they came originally stock blue on the top, you can see here, but uh, I failed to, to realize that I also have two more blue ones on the back, so we're gonna have a bit of a mismatch here. I didn't think that one through all the way, so I just ordered another set of these for the back as well, so those are on the way, and then I'll eventually replace all four. I was just thinking for the immediate needs now. These are for both the front and the back, so you can just get the same ones for both sides, and I actually ordered two more sets because I figure they'll probably break again eventually. It's always good to have another spare on hand when they do break so should be an easy fix today guys i don't expect to spend a long time on this but i got my traxxas toolkit here ready to rock and roll get these on and let's give it another rip and see how it works all right let's do it so you can see here the green tops here they also come in blue and other colors as well so pick a color that you like okay okay you can see they're definitely going to be more durable the fittings are a little different on uh, the car here than I was expecting. Things aren't gonna work exactly the same way. So I just took the liberty when the camera was off to unscrew this piece here that was on the bottom, this little piece here that was sticking out here. You can see on this side, this piece here just kind of pops off, all right, and then exposes this little metal piece that I just unscrewed, okay? And the reason I had to take that off is because the fitting for this is different. You can see how these are different here. And these came with longer screws that just simply screw right in through the hole, right in like that, as opposed to having them pop off like this one here. It's a better design because this just pops off easily, whereas this one you're screwing it in so it's gonna hold better. I'm just gonna have to screw that back in. You can see the differences, guys. This one here has that solid piece here that pops on and off. And now this side, you can see where it's screwed in, so it's gonna hold much better. So that's a better design. Next is the top. The top's gonna be a little different too. They also gave us little metal pieces similar to that. And that is the same idea. So that's going to now push that in. So I want the flat side going here. The curvy part's gonna push in and fit through the plastic. Here we go. See, and now you get the flat side rubbing up against that side, so that will be good. And then we'll just screw that in. There we go. Nice. So that one's on now too. So now we can do the other one. Yeah. And you can see the piece I was trying to describe before. That so needs to be replaced as well. might be worth hanging on to these pieces, even though they're broken, just because uh, you never know. Maybe decide to go back to the other one for whatever reason. Okay, push this through. And there you go, good as new. Two new shocks. 
both metal. They're both oil filled like the other ones. And you know, I'll have to replace these later because I forgot about them. <laughs> so a little bit of a mismatch there, guys, but uh, at least it works, you know, or it should work anyway. So let's uh, give it a rip and see how it runs. Whoa. Oh geez, I hope I didn't break it again. I did. I can't believe how fragile this thing is. I just fixed it. And look at that, broke the black one already. <laughs> Amazing. Oh wow, lucky for me, I still have another one of these intact of the standard ones, so I can replace that today. But I got new upgrades on the way, I just have to wait for those, but luckily I have an, a spare that's still working. So this, uh, wow, crazy. I can't believe how quick that broke. <laughs> All right. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm right back in here. I mean, I think I gave it one rip, maybe two, one and a half rips, we'll say, already back in the shop. Luckily, guys, I held on to the spare, the one I replaced two of these. There was one broken, one still intact. I still have this one. So uh, I guess we'll be uh, needing this after all. Didn't expect it to be that quickly, though. Guess the shirt was right, though, you know? So there you go, guys. <laughs> Race them, break them, fix them, and repeat. It's really hoping we weren't going to be repeating today, but hey, such is life. So at least the shirt didn't lie. So let's go ahead and uh, get this one on and uh, get back to racing. Pop this off. Luckily, it comes out easily, though. It's a pretty easy fix. So you get this original one, the same peg here will stay. Pop that back in. I'm lucky these are universal, front and rear. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. we have to wait a couple more weeks before we could drive it again. So that worked out in my favor. All right. Front and rear back together again. Unbelievable. All right, let's give it another rep to see how we do. Oh. Jeez. Wow. Oh. Well, it looks like I lucked out today, guys. This thing is working as good as new. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. Until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.